Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Anne, and today is April 24th, 2020. And today I have another short video for you. And I'm talking about basically the same thing that I've been talking about for the last three days. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about the Bride of Christ. And I'm talking about the Revelation 12 woman. Now, in this particular video, on the slide, I have included um, scriptural references that you can actually go and check out some of the things that I'm saying. Now, brothers and sisters, everything that I'm saying to you, um, I have scriptural references for, but I can also produce dreams and visions and communications from God who has clarified these things to me. This is nothing that's coming from my spirit. I have communications from God, as I said, in the form of dreams and visions where he has made these things clear to me. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be talking about, uh, on the slide, I talk about the fact that the Holy Spirit is a woman. Now, I know in many of your teachings and also in mine, uh, I did not learn that the Holy Spirit was a woman until it was revealed to me. The Revelation 12 woman is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit that's listed in the Bible. That woman is the Holy Spirit. This is the way God chose to present her in the Bible. Now, in this slide, I also talk about the bride. Now, the bride of Christ is the Holy Spirit. The bride of Christ is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third member of the Godhead. God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit all have the same nature. Now that is the reason why Jesus Christ is going to marry the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit pre-existed in heaven before being incarnated on this earth just as Jesus Christ did. I was shown that in several visions from the Father. God the Father showed me this. Now, when Jesus Christ comes to this earth, he is going to marry the incarnated version of the Holy Spirit, the woman. Jesus Christ cannot marry a church. He is not going to marry a church. He is not going to marry the state of Israel. He's going to marry a woman from Israel. Now, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit have the same human nature. Excuse me, the same nature. They both have a divine nature and a human nature. That is the only way they can be married. If they were to marry, if God were to marry anything other than his own kind, he would be violating his own law, and he's not going to do that. But as I said, I have provided scripture on the slide so that you can see where I'm coming from. And another thing I want to mention that the Revelation 12 woman, as you notice, she is shown already pregnant. Now, she is not pregnant by uh, Joseph. She's pregnant by Yahushua. This is Yahushua's wife. They have children. They will have more children. Um, I have been shown that over and over again in the visions. Yahushua and the Holy Spirit already have many children. I have been told that they have over 20 children together. So um, please pause it, read the slide, and if you have any questions, please let me know. But remember, Christ has to marry 
a woman of his own type. He cannot marry just a plain human woman. He cannot marry a church. He cannot marry Israel. He's going to marry a woman that he was married to before the foundation of the earth. And that is the Holy Spirit. So shalom until the next time.